Yeah, this video is about how to do your problems and how to present your problems. Um, so, solution to a problem. How to do, how to present. Please show the work always in this sequence and also think in this sequence, which helps you really to do the problem and also show the a uh, person who's reading the problem, uh, the solution of the problem, uh, how it was done. First, write down the knowns. The data are given information of what you know from the problem. That's very, very important because without having an anchor on what we have, trying to find out what we don't have is going to be, diff is going to be a difficult thing and we may miss certain things. Now write down the unknowns, what all we don't know. Uh, what you So in this particular case, we may not know a lot of things. That's not the issue. What we don't know, the focus is essentially what we need to find or what the question is asking. Or in multi-step problems, what intermediary information you might need. All of these things go into the unknowns. There are sometimes you have to find one information and then use it for the next stage like a multi-step problem you need to know all that sequence even if you uh, look at the problem and say oh I, this is my unknown but i cannot find from the known to the unknown directly then you need to find what are the intermediary unknowns and you may want to think about them and write it down so then you establish and present the algorithm it means the process of solving the problem. What are you going to do? Like what formulas you will use, what equations you will solve. And when you think about all of these things, you will also realize what kind of algebra it may be required to be done in that particular process. There are times when you may directly be able to substitute and answer the question. And certain times it's not possible, you may have to do algebraic manipulations in order to answer the question. As you go to a higher level of learning, you will need to reformulate your formulas or your expressions, or equations, such that the unknowns land on sometimes on one side of the equation, but it's not always possible. Sometimes they are like complex equations where they cannot be pushed to one side. <clears throat> Execute the algorithm. Now that you identified the algorithm, this formula, how to substitute, how to change the units, how to solve the equations, you have identified all those processes. Now you have to execute the algorithm. While executing the algorithm, you may know, you, you may have to adjust a few num a few things there. You may have to move the numbers to one side of the equation to the other, do the algebra, all of those will be possible. So you need to now execute the algorithm. Sometimes it's only variables. Sometimes it involves calculations with numbers. But when you are using calculation with numbers, always remember you need to substitute them with appropriate units. Now, if you do substitute the appropriate units, always you may yourself discover that sometimes you did not do your unit conversion. So if there was hours in the denominator and seconds in the numerator, then you realize, hmm, I may possibly have to convert both of them into seconds or both of them into hours in order to have, uh, in order to simplify the situation. So make sure that you always write them with proper units. Present your result. Always just don't just leave the whole calculation, just leave it like that. I am, it's not meant for the person who reads the solution to guess what the answer is or what the response is. Present the result very specifically with the qualification of the velocity is equal to the force that is applied is equal to or something like is you need to specifically present the result and declare them with appropriate units for numerical values. I recommend that you record this process in an easily accessible location. I'm going to keep this slide on for a few seconds 
or maybe you may not have written it down, you can quickly take a picture of this or something like that and keep it with you so that you follow the process every time. Thank you.